What is happening, people? Hey, guys. So, we're doing a little rabbit hunting today, and uh, we're going to title this video uh, Training Rabbit Dogs. Not only do you have to train the rabbit dogs, we have to train ourselves too. And I'll go over that further in the video. And uh, we're going to hunt around some of these lap piles you see here in the background and uh, see if we can get a rabbit afoot. This is the first time Kenny and I have had the dogs out uh, this particular year. And uh, anyway, we got to work all the kinks out of them, get them tough, get the pads of the feet tough. And uh, anyway, hope we get some good rabbit runs on the ground today. So stay with us. I hope you enjoy the video. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. right there y'all. Woo doggy boy. Wild life adventures, that's how we roll. <laughs> Find him. Find him out. <laughs> Find him. Uh oh. There he goes. There he goes. Coming back to the truck. Going back to the truck. Here he coming towards the truck. Now see, right now, the dogs are so wired up from being up, they hadn't quite got the track straight. So you have a lot of me to them uh, at the first of the season now. See, they're going on the opposite direction the rabbit actually ran. But you're gonna have that early part of the year. Uh, dogs are gonna be so keyed up, they hadn't been up, and they, they wanna get out and run and they, they, they just have to calm down. So that's part of getting them out early in the season. So we're not trying to kill rabbits today. We just want the dogs to run. Get them out early in the season. Now I'm gonna have to walk over there and put them on the rabbit. And so here is a hunter. This is where you can help your dog uh, kind of get him back on the track. Yeah, they'll get him straight. They'll get him straight right here. That's what I'm talking about. You know, we got some older dogs in there, younger dogs mixed in. Got a couple of young dogs we're trying to get trained in. And uh, so you get your dogs, you help them get back on the track. You can't be mad at them. They've been up, they rusty. Uh, my collars won't, they're just like the hunters. Uh, you know, I'm still rusty too. Hadn't been out all year. So the first part of the season, uh, my suggestion is take your time. Don't get excited. Work with your dogs. Let them work the track out. Uh, it is early in the season. A lot of leaves on the ground, so that kind of affects the smell too, all that acidity in those leaves. So uh, we'll just let them keep bumping along. The main thing is get them out on the ground. They can't learn nothing in a lot. Get them out on the ground. Let them run. Let them work the track out themselves. So let's walk up here and see what they do. All right. They run him in this brush pile right here, you see behind me. And they got him out of that brush pile, I don't know how. And that joker's gone down across the pasture. So it's ought to be fun watching them go across the pasture. Right here. See, that's when they... See that orange colored dog? Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. He's winding right now.
Still got one in the pile on me. You can see in this brush pile, it, this, this brush pile is, lap pile is much tighter. They might not get him out of that. But they are in there digging. You can hear them trying to get him out. We'll stand right here and we'll just watch, see if they, there he goes right there. See him right there? I seen him come out and he went back in. Pick him, 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 pick him up in there. Pick him up in there. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him. Pick him up in there. Pick him up. Pick him up. Get him in that red. 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 You ever heard such a ruckus? You know, I'll add uh, one other thing. You know, not only are we training dogs, but we're training hunters. And I'm what I mean by training the hunters, I'm training my ear. So Kenny's got like eight dogs, seven or eight dogs on the ground. I have three. And I hadn't heard those dogs run in a year. Many of them I still recognize from, you know, hunting, he and I hunting over the years together. Uh, but, you know, I need to start recognizing the voices of his dogs as well as my dogs. You know, just in case you have an issue or something at some point with, you might need to bump a dog with the shock collar or, or you know, something to that point. Which dog uh, got the jump off, uh, made the jump, you know, and, and things like that. And so we have a litter, uh, we have four litter mates that sound a lot alike. And not till you hunt a couple of times, probably three or four times together, you learn to hear that distinction in their voice to be able to tell which dog that is. You know, because sometimes one may be cold trailing or he may get thrown off the track. You need to bump him a little bit, catch him up with the rest of them, you know, so... Uh, that's what I'm talking about, getting the hunters trained, get your ears trained uh, to what you're doing. We still have a dog in this pile right here behind us. Really don't think we're going to get that rabbit out of there. But you never know. He might come squirting out. And I'll make this point. A lot of times you get a rabbit in a big brush pile like this. All the dogs is in there. It's nice to have hunters on each side watching for the rabbit. The rabbit will squirt out on the far side and be gone. Nobody sees him. The dogs are working here, and you may pull the dogs out, but yet the rabbit has actually come out. So, anyway, hey, fun stuff, man. But anyway, uh, second point, uh, another point I'd like to make, but well, we're hunting these. I see this old snag has fell down behind me. It's grown up around it. Uh, we're also watching. Uh, so when you're training rabbit dogs, you're watching which dogs that are actually getting, I mean, into stuff, under it, looking for the rabbit in there. You're gonna always have dogs that's gonna be around the fringes that's out there just trying to find a track to run. And a lot of that's bred in the dog, uh, for the most part. But you'll have a few, and I say you must have a few that's actually, when you get to something thick, automatically they know they are in there hunting for a rabbit. Uh, and that's kind of instinctively. We lost, uh, this year, uh, we lost uh, the best jump dog that I have ever seen uh, in Maggie. Uh, so anyway, some of these other dogs has got to step up to the plate and take her place. And uh, she will be missed, I will say that. Uh, but anyway, we're also looking for that. We're looking for those dogs that are gonna step up and uh, we're also looking for which dogs, especially these puppies, do they have the hunt in them to re actually get in this brush and find the track. He done slipped out that backside. You hear that dog right there? He's got a different mouth, so I know that's one of Kenny's puppies. That's what I was telling you earlier. You learning 
learning the different voices of the dog so you know which one is cold trailing or which one is actually out front, which one actually gets the turn, starts to track back. All those things, you, you, you train in your ear to listen, you're getting the dogs on the ground, all good stuff that you got to do. There he goes, boy. Go on around that way, boy, sight race. Rabbit was sitting right there. And I, I, I saw, I said, man, that's a good spot. Sitting there in the sun, thick briars. I said, this should be a rabbit sitting in there. Before I get the camera turned on, he shot out. Now that sounds good right there. They packing in, they packing in better now. Oh yeah. Boom. Little short circle. They'll probably go up there where that lap pile is. We're gonna watch for this rabbit right now. I see him, I'll point him out. He done went up there towards that house, so I'm gonna ease up there. I'm gonna ease up there, because they getting in that yard. I don't want those folks to get all boogered up about the dogs being in the yard. There goes a the rabbit right there. Rabbit's sitting right there. So you see, boom, they run that rabbit good. I could kill that rabbit right there with a shotgun. So the GoPro had four minutes on it. So that's a good short run. Really no checks to speak of. Now they've gotten wide on the rabbit right now. We may have to pull them back over here. The wind is blowing that way. When the rabbit, rabbit lays the track down like that and the wind's puffing, it'll blow, it'll blow the scent out away from the actual track. That's why a lot of times the rabbit, the, the dogs will be past where the track is on the downwind side just because that's where the scent molecules are. Now I really prefer at this point to allow the dog to work that check out. Because I may not always, they may be too far away for me at some point um, in a run to actually get to them to help them with the check. And plus it may be too thick, you just can't see, uh, you know, actually where the check is. Fortunate here, one reason we come here, it's open and we can see what the dogs is doing and we can see the rabbit. So I I'll show them to you right here. So the dogs is actually on the rabbit right here. The rabbit has went to that old graveyard right there. And so they working him on. And so now I'm watching. I'm watching which dogs are swinging, which dogs has got the track. They're a little wide to me, it looks like right there. There's a rabbit right here. There he goes. He's going back. Rabbit's going back down the bottom. Okay, so while they're on the check, I'm going to make this other point observation. Right here is where the rabbit was jumped. Most of the time, if you want to kill the most rabbits on a hunt, if you will stay, once they jump, if you will move if you will stay within about 30 yards of wherever that rabbit jumped, you know, like if he swings left, you'll move a little left. If he swings right, you'll move a little right. If you'll stay within 30 yards of where they jumped him, nine times out of 10, that rabbit is coming right back to wherever you jumped him, unless he goes in a brush pile. Just a note. Well, as you can hear, they jumped the rabbit back up, so 
they struggled with him up there around that old graveyard and uh, they bumped him along till I saw the rabbit coming back in this direction where I'm at. And uh, so the check was so long, I just brought the dogs down this way, kind of worked them around the hill. Didn't know where the rabbit went, but we just made a half circle in here, half moon, just let the dogs work and boom, they picked him back up. So it sounds like they're making that same loop back up towards that graveyard. Well, to give you an update, uh, they got that rabbit, they jumped that rabbit back up uh, that they was just on, ran, ran him up through those folks' yard again, crossed the driveway, went down next to the hard surface road and another little, looked like an old building that fell down over there. And uh, anyway, they, they, they worked the track there a little while. They were so close to the road, we just elected. Instead of going over there that close to the house, we just elected to pull those uh, dogs back out, get them further away from the hard surface road. We don't need no dog to get ran over because uh, they was getting close enough. If they jumped that rabbit up, he was going to probably dart across the road. But, uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you've seen something in the video you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Remember, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Uh, don't forget to click the like button, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you in the field. All right, boys, we got to jump. He was laying right here, up through the woods. And Hank's, and Hank's a puppy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So fortunately, the rabbit jumped right in front of one of the puppies. That's that's kind of what you want. That's Hank, new puppy, and he's eight months old. Yeah. Eight months old. So Hank got to see one on the jump. Boom.